Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer called Kloster Shion, and it's a Kloster Doppelbock Dunkel. It's coming in at 7.4% ABV. There's a look at the label. The beer, oh, there's the bottle cap, but the beer was kindly sent to us by beersofeurope.co.uk, our channel sponsors for the last two years. A really good beer from America, Germany, France, all of the big brewing nations, uh, the UK. Uh, so if you want really good beer, you've been on holiday, you want to try something uh, back home which you've tried abroad, the best place you can possibly find it, I think, is beersofeurope.co.uk. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Lots of smoke on the opening. We've got a vice beer glass. Polish vice beer glass. Wow, look at that. Listen, have a listen. You can hear that through the microphone, but um, big fan of Doppelbox. Doppelbox Dunkles, the, the kind of the brown bread version. Or the aroma of brown bread, biscuity, nutty, kind of, oh yeah, love it. So, nice size of carbonation. It's a two to three finger, slightly off-white head. Uh, it's a, a kind of a cherry red, mahogany coloured ale. Uh, it's very nice beer to look at. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Uh, let's get the aroma on this beer then. I'm picking up a lot of fig. A strange kind of green olive. You know your meaty green olives? I had a little bit of green olive in there. It smells absolutely delightful. Biscuity, brown bread. Oh, gonna dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Yeah. And I'm pulling out the maximum flavours out of this beer. I've left it on the windowsill. So it's... It's not a warm beer by any means. It's cool, but it's not kind of, you know, freezing cold. Because when you when you chill a beer right down, you're taking a lot of the flavour away. So I have it on the shelf, like like kind of a red wine temperature, and it suits me down to the ground because I'm more for flavour over refreshment. But lots of fig, lots of biscuit, lots of bready notes. It's got a nice bitter hoppy finish to it, a hoppy back end. It's a wonderfully carbonated beer. But for me, the excitement for these Doppelbox, these Doppelbox Dunkles as they call them, it, it's a style for me, I, it makes me want to go to Germany. I, as I said, I'm, I'm, I think I mentioned it, I'm going to Belgium uh, on Wednesday. Uh, it's not too far from Germany. I hope, even though I'll try lots and lots of Belgian beer, I'm really hoping to try some German beer as well, because I'm pretty sure there'll be really good bottle shops out there in Belgium that will serve beers from all around the world. But yeah, raisin biscuits, it's slightly figgy, uh, it's a nice hoppy bitter finish, uh, it's not overly hoppy, it's big, it's malty. If you like your big, chewy, malty, bready, biscuity brews, this is the one for you. Um, it's a real good quality as well. I've not talked about mouthfeel in a long time, but it's a kind of a silky, smooth, with a little bit of carbonation rolling on the on the palate. It, it's a wonderful, wonderful mouthfeel to the beer. This style, I think, is fast becoming one of my favourite styles in the beer world. Um, I think I've also mentioned that previously, but along with IPAs, porters, stouts, um, saisons, hoppy saisons, this style of beer 
when you, pardon me, when you get it right, when you get this style of beer absolutely bang on right, it will it will kind of challenge any beer style in the world. I think it's fantastic. So check it out from beersreviewed.co.uk. I'm going to give it my rating now. Let's get the last little bit in there. It isn't a bottle conditioned beer. Um, whether Doppelbock Dunkles or not, you know, you, you get them ruby red like this and quite clear. But then sometimes, especially with your Hefeweizens, you get them nice and cloudy and kind of brilliantly kind of medieval looking, I see. So I'm going to give this beer, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's a fabulous beer. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.